Mikey Mike and Direct Sound, and we are doing it from scratch today. That's right, we're doing it from scratch with a Sweet Light Show Express tutorial and Virtual DJ. That's right, Virtual DJ has a great new plugin. It allows you to interface a few scenes from your uh, lighting software, your uh, Show Express or Sweet Light software, to Virtual DJ. So Hot Cues will actually cue a few uh, DMX scenes. Now, right now I can't figure out, I've just installed it, I'm just using about, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes I got it installed, and you know what, it's pretty cool. So for those, you know, that are using DMX software and want to integrate into your uh, music control, now it might work with some other DJ softwares, I'm not quite sure yet, but uh, Virtual DJ has a plug-in, at least I know, for Show Express and Sweet Light. So let me show you a little bit what you can do. Now, for example, say, hey, you're going to be doing a, a first dance, okay? And you're going to be, you're a single owner operator like me, which I think is really cool. You can, um, say you want to put three lighting cues up. You want um, the spotlight to uh, hit the dance floor. Boom. There's a first cue, okay? The next cue is you want the spotlights to, uh, your other spotlights to swing around and hit the mirror balls and have a mirror ball effect. And maybe at one por portion of that, you want it to fade down slowly to the end of the song. Now with those three cues, which you have hot cues, one, two, and three, you can load those cues into your song preloaded. You know, you can do it at home, you can do whatever you like, and you can name those hot cues a certain DMX cue. So your DMX cue, if you don't, if you understand this, hopefully you do, um, say if it's spotlight all you have to do is name it a certain phrase then spotlight for q1 and just name your cues q2 would be uh mirror ball for q2 and then q3 would be fade and then you hit your song you play it as soon as it hits the first cue point it will spotlight second cue point it will mirror ball third cue point it'll fade and uh it's pretty cool now, right now, it only to me, I don't know. It, you guys might be able to help me out. You guys might have been already using the software. Um, but right now, it only lets you do three cue points. I would love it if Virtual DJ would give you a whole laundry list, you know, one through, one through 10, one through 30, one through whatever at lighting cues that you can select. And then leave the hot cues for um, just for mixing. Um, I think mixing would be great. Uh, well, maybe you can do it for both. Maybe you can have you know, 10 hot cues that you can select for music hot cues and for lighting hot cues. I think that'd be great. So uh, Virtual DJ, take a look at this. Uh, all you guys that are using Virtual DJ and Show Express and or either one might give you an idea to go to, to, to Virtual DJ to make this work for you and or Show Express or Sweet Light software. So this is DJ Mike. You might do it from scratch. Take a look at this tutorial. I'm going to put it together real quick. Hopefully uh, you get a little bit something out of it. This is something new for me. Um, I learned about it at the, um, I think it was the Las Vegas DJ show the last time I was there. Uh, got to meet with uh, the designers from uh, Sweet Light and Show Express, and it was amazing. I had a great time there. He mentioned that they had a, you know, a, a DMX software queue with Virtual DJ, so I finally had a chance to just download it real quick, and it only works with the new Sweet Light and Show Express software, like 6.31, I believe. So if you're uh, into that. Now this also works wireless DMX uh, and virtual, so check it out. Hey, 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 DJ Mikey Mike and Direct Sound, and we are doing it from scratch today. That's right, we're doing it from scratch with a Sweet Light Show Express and Virtual DJ tutorial. That's right, they're combining Virtual DJ with a little DMX control. That's awesome. Hey, uh, I was on the Lighting Control Forums page today saw a cool couple of uh, posts and I'm like hey you can actually use virtual DJ to launch lighting clips that's cool so what I'm going to do is so I downloaded the uh, the plugin for virtual DJ for the lighting control for sweet light and show express and I downloaded the newest version of show express and the newest version of virtual DJ this is going to allow me to do to do that so hey here we go it's um it's gonna be a quick little video here. Uh, hopefully, I can show you a few things that I learned in the in the last 45 minutes. Uh, hopefully, it won't take that long. <laughs> but uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch uh, Virtual DJ. 
and now this is 7.3 and I'm going to also I'm going to launch uh, Show Express So what I've created is I've created a, uh, uh, let's turn on the 3D viewer. So I've, I've created a couple scenes. One's green, one's strobing, and one's blue. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use those three clips there and we're going to attach them to a, a song. So you can do this with all your songs that you have, not those just those three clips, but any any DMX soft or, uh, pro or scene that you've created. So check this out. So I'm going to go to uh, Sandstorm here, and I've already created my cues, cue points right here. So you can watch this really quick in the 3D viewer. So when I hit play, oh, actually in show in uh, virtual DJ, you need to turn this on. So go to effects, go to other, and we need to turn on our. We need to connect to our host. Now this can use via Wi-Fi or local computer. I'm using local computer right now, and we need to monitor our cues. That's part of the plugin. So you can have this work or turn it off if you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the browser, and anyway, I'm going to go ahead and launch. Uh, so, oh, since I'm already in the uh, software, it's already launched the green queue. So it knows that this song, th the first queue is green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. I'm going to. I'm going to change the queue point to right here for green. Okay, so no, nothing's on right now, and we'll show you that with the 3D viewer. So nothing's on, and uh, you see the cue point here. So I'm going to start the song in this area. I'm going to hit play, and then I'm going to launch my or show you my 3D viewer. So I'm going to hit play. And when it gets to that cue point, it turns on the the uh, 3D viewer, or it turns on the on the light. And you guys are pretty familiar with this song. So when it gets to the uh, the break here, it's going to go to strobing. So I launched the next clip for strobing. And then when it gets out of the break, I want it to go to blue. So it went to blue right after the stroke, after the uh, the break. That was really cool. So we did pause. So to enable that, all you have to do is the uh, plugin comes with a little tutorial for you. So let me find the tutorial. Virtual DJ tutorial, live and virtual DJ tutorial. A couple things you need to do is you need to turn on enable the external control in the live page. So here's the live page. Go to preferences and enable the external control right here. Okay. And then you also need to in your live page. No, in your uh, yeah, in your live page. After you restart, go to visible in external control. And I'll show you where that's at. So whatever page you want visible in external control, right click on it, just like the live mobile app, and click on visible in external control. Okay, so make that visible. 
when you go back to it, you'll see it's kind of highlighted. It's really hard to see it's highlighted. They should highlight the whole button, I think, to make you know that it's highlighted. But that's okay. So anyway, it's visible in external control. Okay, and then make sure your DMX or 3D views on so you can see it. Okay, so that helps with the uh, the PDF version there. And then when you launch Virtual DJ. And you get to that point right here. It will launch the lighting cue. So the green lights came on. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Our green lights are still on. Our next cue is going to be strobe. And then it's going to go to blue. Okay, so remember back here in the... Uh, so the way to make this work is scroll down to the bottom of the page here. And to use the cue points, all you need to do is select the DMX line, press line. Copy that. And then it says button name. So all I did is I went to this cue point right here, I right clicked and renamed, and I right click I named it DMX Press and my light scene was named Green Par. Second cue point, and then hit OK. Second cue point, just rename it from cue point two to DMX Press Strobe, or that's what my second cue point was named, strobe. And the third po cue point was named um, Blue One. So I'm going to rename it DMX Press Blue One. And I hit OK. If you wanted to start a scene and stop a scene, so down here it says um, you can press switches the button on, release switches the button off, and then Q toggles the button. Um, that'll turn it from on to off or from on to off to on I guess so depending on what you're doing you only have three cue points to mess with so it's going to be a little funky to play with just those three but eventually hopefully you'll be able to do a whole song with this multiple cue points hopefully virtual DJ will let, let us do that or sweet light I think sweet lights already there it's it's virtual DJ that needs to really step up so if uh, they can give us another page for what would be great is the three buttons are fine for mixing and queuing and let us rename them to launch a light scene but how about just on the music line let us lay as many DMX drop-ins as we want start them stop them you know cue them whatever we want to toggle them that'd be great and then um, maybe give us an extra tab for DMX so we can run our whole software out of one DMX tab off of um, the software instead of having to go to our second computer to do this. You know, we can do it right there as we're DJing. That'd be great. So uh, just a thought from DJ Mikey Mike. Who knows? Hey, it might happen. Um, so anyway, here we go. Once again. Now while you're also playing your live page, you can turn on and off different light cues as you're going along. This just launches, show you how it's working, okay, or turns them off with the song, but you still have full control with your live page. So that's really cool. So you can still launch clips as, as needed. So here we go again. As you see the light cues start. Turn to green. Here we go again. Oh, and it should be blue. So it's DJ Mikey Mike doing a little virtual DJ, Sweet Light, and a Show Express software tutorial 
kind of combining them all with uh, DMX control with virtual DJ. Really cool. I like that. Hopefully we get a little bit more hot queuing or uh, some some ability to you know just right click and then add a, a DMX queue anywhere along the timeline uh, or song line as needed. So anytime you play that song, those light cues are automatically going to pop up. So you pre-program all this in your uh, in your virtual show, and then when you get to your lighting scene or to your to your venue or your dance, man, it's working great. So this is DJ Mike, you Mike doing a quick tutorial. Peace. <laughs>